Hey guys, it's Igor. I'm back with another video and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the process that I use to complete a digital painting. So here's a replay of a phone sketch that I did and it includes all of these steps. So step one is the initial sketch. This could be as rough or as clean as you want and you see me kind of drawing a little monster here. Uh, I did half of it, mirrored it, bam, we're moving on to the color layer, which is step two. So I'm dropping in a blue color, and I wanted to use uh, complementary, so the orange is going to be what offsets all of that blue, and the character is smack dab in the middle of it, so that's the focal point. Uh, a really simple composition. I've probably even seen stuff like this done in movies or in video game promotional art, but I don't care, you know, I wanted my own take on it. And this was a really quick piece. It took probably about an hour or so of painting, which is fast for me. So step two is to lay down, block in all the colors. And you can do this in, you know, whatever works best for you. Uh, for me, it's kind of like this sort of rough style uh, because I end up refining it later. And step three is the highlights and the shadows. So the blocked in colors, you obviously don't want to leave, you know, just pure blues. You want to add those darker blues. You want to add those light blues. You know, for the orange, you see some hotter orange down the center, which has more yellow. And as it moves outwards towards the mouth, it gets more red, which is a darker tone. Uh, so those are the highlights and the shadows. That's definitely step three for me. And step four would be the final touches. It's little things like smoke effects, uh, sparks. It might be, you know, little rim light highlights, and you'll see me adding those in as I go. So right now, I'm still playing around with the highlights uh, overall. I'm just trying to color the outside of the creature to kind of show a little bit more of the skin and the texture that he's created in. Here you see me going in and making the teeth a little darker so that they're a bit more refined. I took like some splatter brush and added some noise and little sparks to kind of indicate that he's roaring or something. Something's flying out of his mouth. And that pretty much ends the piece. Very simple, very fun to do. Some rim light on the teeth for the final touch, and that's it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had a good one. Uh, I definitely enjoyed working on this, and hopefully I can get more videos out to you in the future.